Okay, so as San Diego Comic Con rolls on, we also got the trailer for Shazam. And I'm going to do a trailer breakdown slash reaction. Mostly a breakdown of what we're going to see in this film. Shazam is, of course, the... DC version of Captain Marvel, of course, but they're not going to call it that. They're going to call it Shazam. And that's coming out April 2019. This is a part of the DC Extended Universe, the DCEU, the Cinematic Universe. We're going to break down this trailer. This is a new character to the DCEU, and actually one that didn't really ever really get a movie adaptation. You know, at least with Aquaman, you know, he's been in Justice League. You know, he's had appearances in other movies, Batman v Superman and a cameo. Now we have Shazam, a new entry into the universe, and we're going to break this down. Um, and if you haven't seen my previous trailer breakdowns, yesterday right here on World of Geekdom, we broke down Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and we broke down Aquaman. So today, again, I didn't want to flood you guys with too many videos in one day. I want to kind of give us some breathing room. So we're going to talk about Shazam here. And yes, Mayo's back. Hi, Mayo. Yo. Let's talk about Shazam, do, bro. This I do is, want to say... This is your favorite uh, one, right? This was my favorite one among them. I ranked them Shazam, Godzilla, Aquaman. Where's Broly at? <laughs> I was talking about the ones from the day, but... um, the thing, thing from like, yesterday. You said, with Shazam, you said, like, the... Or, yeah, yesterday. You said the thing with, like, Shazam getting a uh, release. Um, the, the thing with him is he was one of the original superheroes to get, like, his own TV series. He had a TV series back in the 70s, I think it was? Way back. Yeah. Yeah. Like when my dad was a kid. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, mo I'm talking about theatrically. Oh yeah. Theatrically, he hasn't had anything yet. He's made cameos in animated stuff, but I don't remember him ever having his own live action movie. So. He was put into the animated movies more recently. He's part of the animated universe for their movies. He replaced someone on the Justice League team. I can't remember who though. When are we gonna get that Martian Manhunter movie, bro? Piccolo. That's what I want, man. I want the Martian Manhunter movie. At least have him appear in, in Justice League 2 or something. If they're going to bring in Darkseid, you might as well bring him in. Yeah. So, let's break down this trailer. Here we go. And by the way, I haven't seen this yet. You've run from foster homes in six counties. Okay. I can take care. The typical kid who's broke and wants to be somebody. Right? But he's a vigilante or whatever the case is. Myself. No, you'll see. When you're 18, give these people a chance. Because that's what they're giving you. Yeah, I mean, this it just brings me... It just that kind of looks like you, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks like that you. Kid, that kid looks like Billy Batson, though. Like, they chose the right kid to play him. It looks like Mayo, bro. Young Mayo. But, no, I mean, it, <laughs> yeah, but this yeah. is very similar to, like, Rogue. You know, with, like... Or, like, X-Men, how they're always sort of outcasts, you know? Mm. I love the way this is going so far. And it's actually yeah. not so dark. Like, it still has that sort of dark look, but this movie does not seem anywhere close to as dark as any of the Snyder DC movies at all. Yeah. They're it's definitely moving away from the that DCEU. direction. It, it is. It may not play yeah. as big a part, but, like, it's supposed to be in it as far as I know. This is Billy Batson. Make sure you make him feel at home. They seem nice, but don't buy it. It gets real Game of Thrones around here. <laughs> well, there's a modern reference. <laughs> yeah. Dude. I love this scene, though. You look at me and you're like, why so dark? You're a disabled foster kid. You've got it all. <laughs> I love that joke. That line is great. It's like this, some of that self-referential humor. Like, with the, it kind of tells yeah. you, like, all right, this movie's not going to bet the rest of the DCU. It immediately says that, one, yeah. If you could have one superpower, power, what would you what pick? Would you pick? Oh, they, I'd say there's, and there, again, there's the bat. It's, yeah. It's definitely all part of one universe. What would you pick? It's just a matter of Everybody what part it plays what? eventually. And we have magazine or newspapers talking about Superman. So I mean, yeah. Are there Easter eggs here? Like, are there is there anything? Let's take a look at Everyone. it. Is there anything over here you can spot? What is Superman's real agenda? Like, were these actually in Batman v Superman? Like, I think I feel like they were. Um, you have the Gotham one right there, right? Is that what that says? Gotham Free Press. Yeah. Yeah, and then you've so got like, the, the the Daily Bugle, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not totally sure if any of those showed up. But. I feel like if you look at these, there might be Easter eggs here, but... Like, that picture is definitely from Man of Steel. Yeah. You know why? So they can fly away from this conversation. No, because here... I like that part. Let's fly. Oh, wait, I'm getting bullied. That That's an archetype. No, that's not Billy that's getting bullied. That's the crippled kid that's getting bullied. I didn't even notice that. I'm glad you yeah, caught that. Yeah, he didn't the crippled kid, bro. Hey. <laughs> what did he hit him with? Kid. Oh, he hit him with the kid's crutch because they took the kid's crutch to. Oh, I thought that was a skateboard. Oh shit, it is a no. crutch. Man, sorry about that. Go, 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 Batman! Get out the way! 
Huh. Like, I just like how this feels and how it looks. So this is in New York. I'm yeah. guessing. If there is one thing... Well, I'm Metropolis, say, Metropolis, not New York, Metropolis. Yeah. DC, DC does their color grading way better than Marvel. You think so? Well, I mean, it, well, it oh, depends definitely. on the director. Yeah, that's true. But like in this one, they're doing it way better than Marvel. At least for I, me, th Marvel... I thought the color grading was horrible in freaking Batman v Superman, though. I mean, everything, everything was sad and depressing. For a lot of their movies, the color grading fits though, like what they're going for. Like the problem with the Marvel movies is they're all very gray, like because there's no there's no black in those movies. They adjust it so there isn't. Every color is lighter than it should be. Yeah, I noticed that with Avengers actually. Billy Batson. Whereas like this, the colors pop. Oh which no, I like. Billy Batson! I choose you as champion. I like this. I like this shot though, bro. With it like transferring into the cold dark abyss. Hello. This. Oh, this I is gonna be awesome. This character's name though. Say my name so my powers may flow through you. That's the original Marvel, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. I don't know your name, sir. I think there's a name Shazam. for Shazam. Like the Grand Wizard dude. I can't remember. His what name. does Shazam stand for again? Allah. Um, what was it? I Hercules. It was Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury, because he has like the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules. Like, yeah, that, that's what it is. Shazam. Dude, Zachary Levi is a is fucking jacked. Did he just grow up? Yeah, that's what Shazam does. Okay, yeah, he, that's. I was. I didn't know they were gonna put that in the movie. You know, he yells Shazam and then wham, he's an adult. Like, so that's it, the whole thing. It's like, it's so it, the power of gods. Yeah, I know that. I just didn't know they were going to put that in the movie. It's just interesting, though, because it's like, again, it's like big. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know they were going to put that in the I, movie. I didn't know that. I haven't seen this trailer yet. I don't know anything about this no, movie. I meant, like, like, you didn't know Zachary Levi was cast as him? Yeah, but I thought that they were going to do a time skip. No. I did not Shazam think they were going to. time skips. No, I know that, but I didn't think they were going to do that. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, they're, they're basically doing the gimmick from Big, Tom Hanks. <laughs> A big ripped off Shazam. <laughs> okay, so he's a kid and a grown man's body. This is gonna be funny. Person I know that knows yeah, anything funny. about this Kate Crusader stuff. Can I? Oh yeah, yeah. I like this shot with the electricity. Right. That's crazy, right? What are you? No, doing? this this is like a movie that should have been made a long time ago, dude. It really yeah. is. Powers. Superpowers, dude. I don't even know how to pee in this thing. All right. This this is like this is kind of <laughs> like uh like, it reminds me of Kick Ass. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, now that you say that, I kind of think that too. Like the cinematography, the performances, it just reminds me, it might, it might have been influenced by it. AM to the BM, BM to the AM. You have super I like that, he's testing out his powers. BM, I like that fly. shot though with like the slow-mo and the pan in. Yeah, and he looks at his fist. It's got a very like, a indie edit to it sort of thing. If I quit this season, I still nope, can't fly, or at least he doesn't know how to yet. Yeah. Why are you talking? Sit down. You know, I don't think that's gonna buff out. Your phone's <laughs> And he's... <laughs> wow. Charge. Your phone's charged. Ten technology right here. He blew up the guy's phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would have been Stan Lee if it was a Marvel movie. Yeah, it would have been. Like a bad guy, right? I can't tell who the villain is. Who is that? It's supposed to be... The villain's supposed to be Black Adam eventually, as far as we know. But, that's, like, that, I don't know who that is. Yeah, it's supposed you to be played by The Rock. Where's that? Like at? I said, I don't, I don't know a lot. He's not in this trailer. Like I said, I don't know a lot about Shazam. Bardock's more the person you want to talk to on that. He's a big fan of that. Well, so. well, the question. Well, here's the question. Okay, but but okay, The Rock said he was gonna be Black Adam, but The Rock yeah. is nowhere in this movie. I, I, he hasn't talked about it. Is it, it? I don't know if he's if he's gonna be in it, dude. I we honestly like there's so little known about this movie with a lot of the plot. Like even like the rumors and spoilers haven't really had much for it, as far as I know. It's very strange. <laughs> It's been kept under a lot of wraps. I like that shot though. That oh, I love great. that. And he gets all big. Yeah. And like Zachary Levi just plays it really well, like a kid playing an adult. Yeah, I like how they buffed out his muscles on purpose. You know what? He I mean, was, they he could totally, jacked as it is though. I know they could totally put this in Justice League Two and have him be the comedy guy. You know they could. Yeah. Bullet immunity. Instead of Ezra Miller as the Flash being the comedy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah right right i agree you're like, dead. I like this. it's an adult it's an adult playing a kid playing an adult right oh, and this is the this is where we're probably gonna get the shot that we saw that was released from the pictures with them standing there drinking the soda see that looks like fun that that this right? to me is kind of like what i feel 
uh, Suicide Squad should have been. And Suicide Squad, I still think that movie gets a bad rep. It's not the worst movie ever. I had fun watching it. First half is definitely better than the second half, and there are problems with it. But I had fun, and that's weird that, you know, this looks like just a blast. And it's coming out. This movie's being sandwiched right between Captain Marvel and Avengers 4. So we've got... Dude, it with is. Ev <laughs> with everything we've been covering, right, we've got... All right, we got uh, Aquaman December... Dragon Ball Super December twenty first. Yeah, Dragon Ball Super in January in in the United yep. States. Then I don't know what's coming out in February, but I know something's that, coming out in February. Well, I know that um, uh, the 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 Glass movie's coming out too, so we got that. Then we have in March Captain Marvel. Then this in in in, in April. Then Avengers in May, and then um later on in I'm May, assuming, King of the Monsters. This is probably gonna come out before Avengers. I, I no, think, I, like, no, I know it is. I just said that, but I said th yeah. then this, then Avengers, then King of the Monsters. Well, do we have an exact release date for this, or do we only know it is April 2019? Yeah, it's April, but Avengers is in May of 2019, so either way, it's no, April 4. Is it in May? I thought it was in April. No. This year, All right. Infinity War got moved back. I don't think that one's getting moved That's back. That's right, yeah. Yeah, this might come out the weekend of Command Con, for all we know. Command no, Con that'll be an interesting weekend. I'll go see it. I don't care. Anyways... Yeah, that's it. I'm excited for it because I always go see these movies, and this looks like a lot of fun. And do you think, though, before we get out of here, do you think that too many of these movies are relying too much on jokes? And, and do you think it's to become too much of a joke now? I think it's the Marvel formula, and the Marvel formula is jokes, big gray villain. But the thing with like <sighs> yeah. Aquaman and sh the thing with Aquaman. It doesn't look like it's going to be the big gray villain. Um, you know what that means, right? Yeah, I know. The, 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 yeah, the boring, becomes, serious guy. Yeah, Yeah. for anyone that doesn't know, it's basically the villain just becomes this hunkering mass of just gray blob, essentially, like how Steppenwolf did or how Ultron becomes. Like, even when, like, Ultron upgrades himself, he just looks more dull. Like, he just I, looks dull. I feel like um, with Black Panther, they did a great job because in Black Panther yeah. and with Avengers, um, you know, Killmonger... And They're really Thanos, yeah, and not to mention that though both those movies don't have that many jokes, even though Avengers has more than um than Black Panther. Black Panther knows when to be serious, and I hope that more movies kind of adopt that. And the thing with Aquaman is, I don't think they're gonna kill their villains. Like, I, I don't think we're gonna see Orm and Black Man die because I don't those think they are either. Like, no, I don't think they're gonna die either. They're like the only villains that Aquaman has, to be honest. Well, then who and knows then, if they're gonna make a sequel though? We don't know that. Yeah, and then Shazam is probably gonna have black adam i know they're going into like some of the magic stuff in this movie as well so i wouldn't be surprised if we saw black adam if it turns out that like the whole rock thing might not be totally true it could be a different guy playing black adam it could be yeah like they really haven't spoken on it they could still they could be hiding it because like i said before we started the video shazam doesn't show story but aquaman does but they both do great jobs showing off their movie there you like, go shazam shows off the feel shazam feels like a completely different movie from the rest of the dc movies like even suicide squad which is a very like different trailers than the rest of the movies at the time it what it didn't feel that different than the others whereas this like definitely feels different like this this feels like a if you combine marvel and dc's formula this is what you would get uh, then that's actually kind of what i want i think marvel's too lighthearted. i think dc's too dark i think a nice but this looks perfect yeah exactly and Check it shows the perfect character to do it with yeah, Shazam, definitely. Check check out Mayo's channel. I'll leave a link down below, Mauro Media. And thanks for being here, dude. Three trailers, back to back to, well, not back yeah. to back to back, but yeah, in but the same weekend. All right. It'll, well, be we'll, it'll be fun. We'll talk, we'll talk to you all soon. Let us know in the comments what you think about Shazam. See you later.